We have some special friends, our favorite teddy bears. They're called Max and Mims, and here's a secret we can share. Hello, everyone. Hello, you guys. What are you doing? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. What are you doing? Not a lot. What's the matter with the Mimms? I don't know, Max. Come on, then. What are we going to play today? What about hide-and-seek? What's the matter, Tom? Yes, Tom, what's up? It's raining. What did he say? He says it's raining. It's boring when it's raining. There's nothing to do. Oh, no, there's lots to do when it's raining. Mmm, Mims is right. Rainy days are the best days for games. What sort of games? Ooh. Lots and lots of games. What about hide and seek? Oh, we always play hide and seek. Well, I know a game that we've never played before. A very special game. <gasps> Do tell us. What sort of game is it, Max? It's called a letter hunt. A letter hunt? I've never heard of that. Do we have to find lots of letters? We have to find all the letters. Oh, but Max, where are we going to find letters? We haven't <laughs> got any letters. <laughs> we don't actually find the letters, Mimsy. We find the things that start with the letters. What do you mean? So, if we needed the letter T, we'd find a... Uh, um, we'd find a teddy. T for teddy. Oh, I see. T for teddy. But we have to start at the beginning. We have to start with a A. A for... Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything. Apple. Well done, Laura. A for apple. But wait a minute, Max. What happens if we can't find a letter? I mean, uh, something that starts with a letter. Oh, I mean, what if you can't... Oh, oh don't laugh. I know what I mean. I'm sorry, Mimsy. Tell us what you mean. Well, if we have a really difficult letter, like like a K, and we know that K is for king, what do we do? We haven't got any kings. Hmm, no, that's true. But we do know a song about a king. We can sing Old King Cole instead. Oh, that's a great idea. If we can't find a letter, we sing a song. Come on, let's play. Okay. Now, where were we? Apple. That's right. So what comes next is the letter B. The letter B is a B. Well, come on then. Who can think of something that starts with a B? Well, let's start with a song, Max. You're right, Mims. Who can think of a song with the letter B in it? B for butterfly. Hmm. B for bicycle. B for birds. That's it. Birds. Two little dicky birds. Come on, then. Let's sing it. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Well done, everybody. Now we've got to find something that starts with a C. That's a curly K. Well done, Tom. Right. Who can find something that starts with a curly K? K for car. But we haven't got a car. Oh, no. K for carrot. Have we got any carrots? No, we haven't. K for cat. We haven't got a cat. We've got a sort of cat. Oh, he's a nice cat. Can we sing a cat song as well? 
Another song? Already? Could we sing Hey Diddle Diddle? <laughs> Come on then. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the beetle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun and the dish ran away with a spoon. That was a tiring one, wasn't it? Oh. I'm beginning to enjoy this game. Now, what comes after a, a, a curly K? A D. A duh. Oh, sorry, a duh. I know a duh. Mims, have we got any donuts? No, Max, you've eaten them all. Oh, have I? Oh, that's a shame. Can anyone else think of a duh? I've got a dirt, a very special dirt. It's my favourite doll. Oh, look. Your dirt for doll is sitting next to the K for cat. <laughs> I wonder if they know what the next letter is. The next letter is E. Sorry, I mean E. You know, sometimes an E is an E, and sometimes an E is an E. I beg your pardon? <laughs> well, sometimes an E is an E for elephant. <laughs> We definitely haven't got any elephants. I know that. And sometimes an E is an E, like in elastic. Like nickelastic. <laughs> really, Max? <laughs> and an E is E for ears. <laughs> I'd have thought you'd guess that one, Max. <laughs> well, why should I have guessed it? My ears aren't any bigger than yours. <laughs> yes, they are. No, they're not. They are. Lots. Well, my ears are... Now stop it, you two. Oh, sorry, Max. Oh, sorry, Mims. Anyway, I've got a really good et that we can talk about. What is it? I received a letter this morning from our friend Humpty Dumpty. Well, and so? So I thought we'd sing, I wrote a letter to my love. But, Max, letter is a l, l for letter, and we need an e. I know that, Mims, but look. Well, it's a letter. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. You just said it was. <laughs> what do you think? It's a letter. It's an envelope. <laughs> of course it is. How silly of me. F for envelope. Well done, Max. Can we sing the song now? I'm sorry, of course we can. I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it. Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket. Think, think, drop it. Hurry up and drop it. I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it. Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket. that song. Well, come on, Mims. It's your turn to choose the next one. Uh, the next one? The next letter is F or F. Pardon? F for fingers. <laughs> Look at all those fingers. Hmm, like F for chocolate fingers. <laughs> right, uh, F. How about F for flowers? Yes, that's a good one. Any more? F for frog. Ooh, yuck. F for feet. Oh, yes, Sophie. Lots and lots and lots of feet. 
Oh, I hope you've got clean socks on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it, Max. Fish. Fish? Yes, f for fish. And fish for one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Come on then, everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger. That was a good one, Mims. It had a fur for fish and fur for fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> <laughs> fish fingers. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> what do you say, boys? Shall we think of the next letter? Wait a minute, Max. What's wrong with the girls thinking of the next letter? Boys or girls? Girls and boys. Girls and boys come out to play. Girls is a girl. That is the next letter, isn't it? A, B, C, D, E, F. G. G is go for girls. Well, yes, it is. Well, come on, Max, let's sing it. Are you ready? Girls and boys come out to play. The moon will shine as bright as day. Leave your supper and leave your sleep. And come to your playfellows in the street. Come with a whoop and come with a ball. Come with a good will or not at all. Up the ladder and down the wall. A half penny roll will serve us all. Well done, everybody. Now, Max is going to think of something for the next letter, which is, um... Mm. Oh, H. Is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. H is a H. You're right, Max. The next letter is a H. I mean a H. Are you going to find something in the room, or are you going to sing a song? Oh, we haven't decided yet. Gigi! I beg your pardon? Gigi, is that a proper word? No, it isn't. And anyway, we're doing H now. We've finished with girls and Gs. No, wait. He's right. How can he be right when we're doing... But, Mims, what is a Gigi? What is it? It's a horse. Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly what letter we are looking for. Oh, that's brilliant, Max. Her for horse. And there must be lots of songs with horses in them. Well, there's Once I Had a Hobby Horse. And there's Ride a Cook Horse to Banbury Cross. Come on, then. Let's sing them. Once I had a hobby horse and it was dapple grey. Its head was made of peas, drawer, its tail was made of hay. I sold it to an old woman for a copper coat, and I'll not sing my song again without a new coat. That was so nice. Let's do it again. Once I had a hobby horse and it was dapple grey. Its head was made of bees, or its tail was made of hay. I sold it to an old woman for a copper coat, and I'll not sing my song again without a new coat. Oh, that was wonderful! Yes, it was, Mims. Now let's sing another song. Ride a cock horse. Come on. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon her white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes That was great! Well, let's do it again. Hands up, those who want to do it again. <laughs> Here we go, then. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes Thank you, everybody. You know, Mims, I think the dressing up box might be the answer to the next two letters. Now then, let me think what the next two letters are. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H... So the next two letters are I and J. What else are they? I and J. Right. I and J. 
Mm, gosh, oh, they're very hard letters. I can't think of anything starting with I and J. Can you? Um... Jelly! We haven't got any jelly. Oh, I wish we had. I'm starving. Max, you're always starving. That's true. Tom, come and help me. Ooh. What are you up to, boys? Wait a minute, Mims. Um, look. What about these? Oh, very nice, Max. A hat and some cardigans. Well, it isn't a hat, Mims. It's a headdress. An Indian headdress. There you go, Mims. Instant Indians. <laughs> very good. If for Indians. If for instant Indians. But what about the cardigans, Max? What cardigans? They're not cardigans, Mims. They're jumpers. Don't tell me. Jeff for jumpers. Exactly. A, B, C, yes. D, E, F, G, H, I and J. Mm. What letter's next? It's a K, a kicking cur. Didn't we already have a song with a kicking cur in it? Old King Cole. Yes, that's right. That had a kicking cur in it, I think. Yes, it has. Come on, everybody. Let's sing Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddle as free. Every fiddle, and he had a fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's no so rare as can compare. We can call that his fiddle as he. Well done, everybody. Now it's my turn. I've got to find a L, a L. I know. L for lollipop. Oh, Max. Max? What? Max is a M. That's our next letter. And Mims is a M too. And so is my favourite song, The Man in the Moon. You're right, it is. Let's sing it. So who's going to think of an N-word? Uh, no. Hmm, now let me think. Uh, oh, I can see one from here. It's a nose. It looks as if we've got lots and lots of noses. So which one of you is going to find us the next letter? It's an O. An O? Uh, like octopus? What is it, Roger? What can you see? Is it an O word? Oh, that's brilliant. O for oranges. And a song too, Mims. What do you think? Oh, yes, I think so, Max. Come on, everybody. Let's sing the oranges song. Oranges and lemons, set the bells of St. Clemens. Now you find farthings, set the bells of St. Martins. When will you pay me, set the bells of our baby? When I grow rich, set the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be, set the bells of Stepney? I'm sure I don't know, says the great bell of love. Oh, thank you very much, Mimsy. I've got a purr. I beg your pardon? A purr. A double purr. A colour purr and a thing purr. A pink pig. <laughs> a pink pig? I like it. He's nice, isn't he? Your turn now, Max. What's the next letter? Uh, a Q. A queer sound. Oh, that's going to be hard. Mm. Oh, the others seem to have a good idea. Go on, then. Give me a clue. Queen. Oh, shall we sing The Queen of Hearts? Oh, yes. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts on a summer's day. 
when they were caught, he stole their stars and took them clean away. The king of hearts who bore their stars and in their name who swore, the king of hearts brought back their stars and that he soon no more. Now then, the next letter is an R, a R sound, and we all know what that's for, don't we? Um. Oh, come on. Why did we start playing this game? <laughs> Can you remember? Oh, because it's raining. Oh, that's clever, Max. Ruff for rain. I know a little rhyme about rain. It goes rain, rain, go away, come back another day. I know one too, but I need an umbrella. Oh, Nicola's got one for you. Thank you, Nicola. Here we go. Rain on the grass, rain on the trees, rain on the housetop, but not on me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nicola. Oh, that's a nice smile. A nice sir for smile. Is sir our next letter? It certainly is. A sir is an S. Let's find as many S's as we can. Now let's see what else we've got. The children have found a sir for spade, a sir for sandals, a sir for spoon, a sir for star, and a sir for sailing boat. What have you got, Max? Well, I've got a sir for sandwiches, sir for soda, and sir for sweets. Oh, Max! Well, I've got a song with sir in it. It's a sheep. It's a Baba black sheep. <laughs> of course it is. Well, come on, let's sing it. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags wool. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the line. <laughs> What's next, Max? Um, the letter T. What's a T for? Oh, you've told me this before, Max. T is for teddies, just like you and me. Do you know round and round the garden like a teddy bear? How does it go? Oh, come on, girls, let's show them. <laughs> round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step. Tickly under there! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's our turn now. Come on, boys! Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there! <laughs> oh, it's fun being a teddy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Max, you are an old softy. Hmm. Come on, what's the next letter? Um, uh, an A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. <laughs> An uh sound. <laughs> I think the others have already guessed that. Oh, brilliant! Uh for umbrella. But what song are we going to sing? Well, we need another rainy song, don't we? What about Dr. Foster? Oh, yes! Come on, everybody! Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his lip and never went there again. Let's sing it again. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his lip and never went there again. Oh, that was great with our uh for umbrellas. Can we do another rainy song? Can we do Inty Wincy Spider? Of course we can. Come on then, everybody. Let's sing Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider, climbing up the spout, down 
and the rain, the rain and wash the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And itsy wincy spider climbing up the spout again. <laughs> Gosh, Max, we must have done nearly all the letters now. We have, Mims. All we've got left is a uh, V and W, then X, Y and Z. So let's think about V and W. That's um V and W. Any ideas? Oh, wait a minute. Where's the cloak you used for the Queen? Yes, I thought so. It's velvet. It's what? It's a type of material called velvet. V for velvet. Is there anything else in there that's a V or a W? Brown paper. <laughs> that's it. He didn't use a bandage. He used vinegar and brown paper. V for vinegar and brown paper. Do you know what song that is? Jack and Jill! But wait a minute. It's a W too. They fetched a pail of water. W for water. Oh, come on, let's sing it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Then up Jack got and hung the trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. <laughs> oh, can we sing it again? After all, it is the letter V and the letter W. Well, of course we can, Mims. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Then up Jack got and hung the trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. So what's left now, Max? There are only three letters left, aren't there? Well, there is, Mims, but they're the hardest three letters in the whole alphabet. They're X, Y, and Z. What do they sound like? Well, X can sound like an X or a Z. Y sounds like a Y, and Z sounds like a Z. Mmm, it's very complicated, isn't it? We've got a good Z. All right, well, you go and get it. We've got a good Y. Good. Well, you get that. Well, that leaves us with an X. Hmm, xylophone. That begins with an X. This xylophone? Yes, that's it. Look, xylophone starts with an X. What have you got? A yacht. Y for yacht. Well done. Anything else? Ready? <sighs> <sighs> It's a yawn. Yeah, for yawn. Well done. How about you girls? Oh, I would never have thought of that. It's a toy zoo. Z for zebra. And Z for zoo. Well, I don't believe it. We've done the whole alphabet. From A to Z. And it's still raining. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have something to eat. All those letters have made me hungry. Oh, yes, I'm hungry too. Oh. Come oh. on, you lot, save me a honey sandwich. Oh, I'd like an orange. <laughs> Off the orange. <laughs> still rough for raining, Mims. Oh, still rough for raining, Max. Well, shall we see if we can rough for remember? Remember what? The letters, Mimsy. Let's remember the letters and sing some songs again. Great idea, Max. The first song was Two Little Dicky Birds. Mm. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul.
And the next one was... K for cat. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the Diddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such one and the dish ran away with a spoon. The next one was L for letter. No, it wasn't. It was F. For envelope. I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it. Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket. Think, think, drop it. Hurry up and drop it. I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it. Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket. Think, think, drop it. Hurry up and drop it. I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket Think, think, drop it, hurry up and drop it I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket Think, think, drop it, hurry up and drop it I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket Think, think, drop it, hurry up and drop it I wrote a letter to my love and on the way I dropped it Someone must have picked it up and put it in their pocket Think, think, drop it, hurry up and drop it I thought of the next one, Max. It was F for fish finger. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Cause it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger. For... Girls and boys come out to play. Girls and boys come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Leave your supper and leave your sleep. And come to your playfellows in the street. Come with the woo and come with the ball. Come with the glue and the not at all. Up the ladder and down the wall. A half penny roll will serve us all. You find milk and laugh and flour. And we'll have pudding in half an hour. G for Gigi. No, H for horse. Once I had a holly horse and it was apple rain. Its head was made of peas, so its tail was made of pain. I sold it to an old woman for a copper coat. And I'm not seeing my soul again without a new coat. And then there was another horsey song, Mims. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes Do you remember what the kicking cur was for? Yes, Old King Cole Old King Cole was a merry old soul And a merry old soul was he He called for his pipe and he called for his bowl And he called for his fiddle Every fiddle and he had one fiddle and a very fine fiddle had he Oh, there's no so rare as can compare We can call him and his fiddle was he The next one was a double mer mims, the man in the moon The man in the moon had been tumbling down And lost his way to knowledge He went by the south and burned his love with something on his college. I know the next one. The next one was oranges and lemons. Oranges and lemons, said the bells of St. Clemens. Now you buy Barney, said the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, said the bells of our baby. When I grow rich, said the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be? Say the bells of Stepney. I'm sure I don't know. Says the great bell of love. Oh, this was a hard one, Mims. Qua for Queen. Oh, yes, Max. 
And the next one was one of your favourites, Mims. I know. Baba Black Sheep. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. This is our song, Mims. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there. And now the rainy day song, Mims. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shell of rain. He said he looked like right up to his lip and never went there again. Let me think. There was another rainy one. Yes, Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout again. What was the last one we sang, Mims? I know. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Then up Jack got and on did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his hair with vinegar and brown paper. Wasn't that fun, Max? We sang lots and lots of songs. Yes, and it's still r for raining. <laughs> <laughs> we have some special friends. Of